right, this is grade three, module four, lesson 12. And in this problem, uh, in this video, we're going to be solving word problems involving area. And so the first question is a square calendar has sides that are nine inches long. What is the calendar's area? So I'm going to draw a picture and it, I'm going to begin by drawing a square because it says that it is a square. So I'm going to draw the best square I can draw, and <laughs> that's pretty horrible, but that's a square. And then it says it has sides that are 9 inches long. So this is 9 inches, this is 9 inches, this is 9 inches, and this is 9 inches. Now the question is saying, what is the calendar's area? So remember what this means. What this means is this 9 inches here means that there's going to be nine squares going up. Nine square inches going up. And what does this nine mean here? It means that there's going to be nine, and that was one of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so we've got nine going this way, We've got nine going this way, and we've learned that the quick way to count all of those square tiles is to do nine times nine is 81. So there are 81 square inches in this, um, in this square calendar. So this one says, the surface of an office desk has an area of 15 square feet. Its length is 5 feet. How wide is the office desk? Now, the first thing, I, you know, the, the thing about this problem is they're making kind of an assumption here that this desk has to be a rectangle. Because technically, I've seen desks that kind of look like this, and the person sits right here, and then they do their work, and here's the monitor screen, and then the here, and there's their little pencil right here, and over here is their scissors and stuff like that, okay? So that's not a square, or a, that's not a, a rectangular desk at all. Um, and so this problem, we need to tell our students that well, we're ha we have to make kind of an assumption that this office desk is a rectangle nice boring office desk and we're told that the area is 15 square feet all right and we're told that the length is 5 feet so we're told that one of these side lengths is 5 feet and we need to figure out the other side length all right and so basically, at this point, we know that the quick way to add up or to calculate the area, like if we wanted to know what is the area of this rectangle, we would do 5 times that missing number, that's this guy, and that's supposed to equal the area, which we're told is 15. So what number goes right here? It's a 3. So that means that missing length is a 3, so it's 3 feet. So how wide is the office desk? It's 3 feet. And the last video, uh, slide for this video it says, Lila makes the pattern below. Find and explain her pattern, then draw the fifth figure in her pattern. So what we need to do is we need to look at how this shape these shapes are growing from here to here to here to here to here to here all right um, so I'm looking at this now what happens when it goes from here to here well the width stays the same but it got taller and then when I go from here to here what happened well the width stayed the same but it got taller so I can s pretty much assume that in our next shape, the width is going to stay the same, and it's going to get taller. Now, how much? How tall? Well, this is a 1 by 2, and then this is 2 by 2, 
and this is 3 by 2. So I can pretty much assume that this is going to be 4 by 2. And then the next one is going to be 5 by 2, but I'm running out of room, so I'm going to have to get a little creative here. 5 by 2. So let's write that in. 4 by 2 and 5 by 2. So draw the fifth figure in the pattern. So there's our first figure. Here's our second figure. Here's our third figure. Here's our fourth figure. So here is our fifth figure, and that is our answer. And that wraps up this video, Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 12, use, uh, Solving Word Problems Involving Area.